Have you ever thought about taking a vacation and then thought maybe it's not worth it? You think of all the stress you have before the vacation leading up to it to get ready. And then once you come home, the huge long inbox of new emails you'll have and everything you have to get caught up on immediately once you return. If so, you're not alone. I'm Joe Ilfeld, CEO and founder of Insight to Leadership. And recently I took my own big vacation. My family and I went up to Alaska for eight days. And while I wasn't completely off the grid, I really only took out my laptop once or twice on the plane to catch up on things. And so after this vacation, I posted a picture on LinkedIn and said that I was practicing what I preach and, you know, and actually getting away with my family. And this has probably been one of the most popular LinkedIn posts that I have posted in a long time. And I think because so many people, of course, after COVID identify with, wow, taking a vacation again, but it's not just that. I think vacations are these mythical things where we see other people taking them and enjoying them. And we think, I'm not sure I have time for it. Or now it's just not the right time for me to take a vacation, but I can appreciate that they take a vacation. And I was also talking to another um, co-founder recently, and I was remembering this diagram that my first computer science professor put on the board when he was talking about computer science. So I'm going to share my screen so you can see it. And this is it, it's this curve. And basically the idea is that when you start programming, you're fixing errors, you're figuring things out, but then you start to hit a slump. And after a while, you're still working, but you're fixing fewer and fewer errors for the time you're putting on. And eventually, this is like most of those people who are at the computer lab back in the day at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning, that's when you're actually putting more errors into your code than you're fixing because you're so tired. And what I love about this diagram is I think that this is actually what happens for a lot of us at work too. You know, when we're energized and productive, we're strategic, we're seeing places where we can really make an impact and we're doing a lot of good work. So maybe it's not errors fixed, but it's like the amount of good work we're doing. And then as we get more and more tired, we're still working long, but the uh, contribution that we're bringing is much and much less impactful. And then eventually when we're so burnt out, so tired, we don't have that recharge in our system. We're actually maybe being a detriment to the business. Maybe we're getting frustrated and annoyed with people, and then they're getting frustrated and annoyed with us. Maybe we are not treating the relationships we have with the respect they deserve. And so that's causing relationships to decay over time, which of course lessens our impact and what we can do in the organization. So however it is you decide to spend your summer, I hope that you are finding some ways and it doesn't have to be going off the grid to Alaska, but you are finding ways to truly unplug, truly enjoy some of these summer days and make sure that you are bringing this part to the curve when you are at work and not that you are in the tail end of the curve and actually causing more destruction than you are fixing. So I hope you enjoyed this learning snack and now go take a break.